Did I get scammed by Amazon? Well... Hey guys, welcome back to the Bald Shredder channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about one of my Amazon shopping experiences. So of course I'm always looking for stuff on Amazon, various guitar related stuff, guitar parts, whatnot, and sometimes I'm searching for like reasonably priced, decent quality guitar necks. Now I wasn't really looking for like a telly style guitar neck, but I came across one that looked pretty cool and the price was like too good to be true. Like. $8 with free shipping, too good to be true. Now, I'm not a complete idiot, most of the time, and I do realize, like, an $8 neck, and they're gonna ship it from China, this, this can't be legit, right? Of course, I, I realize that, I do, at least, I think I did. But I'm looking at the pictures, guys, and it looks really nice. I mean, it's got a really nice stain to it, and I'm thinking, hey, eight bucks, you know, I, I didn't really need a telly style neck, but I'll put I'll put it on the one telly that I have, and it'll make it look nicer, it'll look cool. I think, yeah, eight bucks, I mean, that's, yeah, that's a pretty good deal. And I read the reviews, there were a couple of good reviews, and uh, one of them even had pictures of the neck after he received it, so I'm thinking, well, the guy got it, he received it, he ordered it, he's got pictures of it, he says it's pretty good. You know, I'm still thinking $8 shipped from China. So what I was actually thinking is like, they made a mistake. Like the seller put it in at the wrong price. Like he meant to put, I don't know, $48 and he accidentally put $8. And I thought, okay, I'll place the order, but then he'll probably cancel the order and change the price once he realizes that it's the wrong price. And I was also thinking like, okay, it, you know, I, I don't think I'm ever gonna get this neck because the price has to be wrong. And even if the whole thing just goes completely haywire and whatever, it's a scam, whatever, it's eight bucks. I'm gonna take a risk because it was only eight dollars. If it had been anything more than eight dollars, I wouldn't even have like, tried it. Okay, so I placed the order, I put it in, it goes through, it, everything's good, I, I'm, I'm checking it, I'm, I'm waiting to get like some kind of email the next day or two days later saying, you know, your order has been canceled or by the seller or whatever. Never happened. After a few days, I get the notification saying, your order has shipped. And I'm going, okay, they shipped it? Maybe, you know, again, I'm thinking maybe he didn't realize that it was in a, at the wrong price and, you know, they're at some factory with all this stuff or a warehouse whatever and they just see an order came through and they just grab it and they put it in the packaging and they send it out not realizing that they're gonna lose money because they've got to ship it all the way from China to the United States so at that point I'm still sitting there kind of going like okay I might actually get this thing it's marked ship and I've got a tracking number so I'm watching it you know day after day finally there's some updates in the tracking it's, it's at like the the distribution center, and then it's on an airplane, and then it lands in California, and this is like a week later. I'm like, okay, cool, because I'm in California. Like, it was at LAF. If it's gonna come to me, like, that's probably where it would land, and then it would come to me maybe one or two days later. Um, but that's not what happened. So after it landed at LAX, and then like another day or two, uh, there was some updates on the tracking, and I see that it is now in Hawaii! And then at this point, guys, I could track it on the USPS website, the United States Postal Service, on their official website. The tracking number worked in there, and it showed me exactly when it went from LAX to Hawaii, and, you know, if you keep checking it, eventually it says, out for delivery, and I'm going, what? This guitar neck that I ordered is in Hawaii and it's out for delivery? And then like a few hours later, on that same day, you know, it said out for delivery, it says delivered, dropped off at the address in, uh, I forget which, uh, which part of Hawaii it was in, but it doesn't matter. It was delivered and that's it. So now Amazon, uh, you know, as far as Amazon is concerned, my package was delivered. And it's done. Did they send my neck? Did it have my name on it? And somehow they put the wrong address? Or I'm also thinking, did they just give me a fake tracking number? Or was there a guy in Hawaii that ordered something? Maybe he ordered that guitar neck. I don't know. 
maybe they just gave me a different tracking number on purpose, knowing that I was never gonna receive my item, but hey, they provided me with a tracking number that shows something got delivered. And again, as far as Amazon is concerned, it's been delivered, so the whole transaction is done. So at this point, I'm on Amazon, I'm on Amazon.com, trying to figure out how I can like get the customer service thing here going to tell them that I never received it and I need a refund. And boy, they sure don't make it easy. So I finally get into like the chat with like the customer service chat. So there's a person and I'm, we're, you know, typing messages back and forth and I'm trying to figure out if this is a real person or if it's just like a chat bot. You know, I'm telling the person that uh, I never received the guitar neck and this, this person on the other end of the chat is like, well, according to tracking, it was delivered at, you know, 6 p.m. today, and I'm going, hello, you're not listening to me. It was delivered in Hawaii. Uh, I live in California, so yeah, there's a tracking number, and it was delivered, but it wasn't delivered to me. And then it was more of the same, like, um, well, perhaps it was dropped off at the neighbor's house. Maybe you should check with your neighbors, and I'm going, buddy, do you know the difference do you know the places? Do you know where Hawaii is? Do you know where California is? Do you realize that these are two different places separated by thousands of miles of ocean? And the response I got was like, yes, I know the places. So, so I was getting really frustrated and I'm telling the guy, I'm typing in the messages like, I need a refund. I need you to process a refund. And he was like, okay, well, um, uh, you, you don't want to like, wait a couple of days to see if it arrives and I'm like, it was delivered in Hawaii. It's not going to arrive if anything was even delivered in Hawaii. Who knows? And um, the guy just like didn't want to do a refund and he said, okay, I'll send a message to the seller to see if the seller wants to do a refund and I'm going, what? So I wait a couple of days thinking that like, you know, it'll, they'll process my request and I'll get a refund or something, but no, nothing, no messages, nothing comes through. So then finally, I see where you can call and talk to somebody on the phone, okay? All right, good. So I call the number, I get a person on the phone, I can immediately tell I'm talking to somebody in another country. It's understandable, I know these places, they have uh, like customer service, like their, their call line, their help centers are in other countries because it's a lot cheaper for them to have it there. But again, it's like you're talking to somebody and it's like the scripted responses again and they're not quite understanding what I'm getting at. It was, it was really hard for me to get at like the bottom line. They're like, it was delivered in Hawaii and I'm here in California and I didn't get it. And finally the guy's like, okay, yeah, I, I will uh, process the refund. I will, I will put in for the refund for you. And then after that was done, I'm trying to explain to the customer service guy on the phone that this seller is scamming people. That, you know, he's selling guitar necks, obviously $8, that, was, that price was never gonna fly, so it had to be a scam from the beginning, giving fake tracking numbers, saying that, you know, making it look like I received it, but it was actually in a different state, and I'm telling him that at this point, by this point in, it's been going on since I ordered it, you know, several days later, whatever, more than a week later, there were now other people putting reviews in saying the same thing. Tracking says it was delivered in another state. So there's several of them. And I'm trying to explain to the guy that, you know, you guys need to get this guy off Amazon because he's scamming people, he's ripping people off, taking money, you're, you're taking this money and this guy is not sending the product that he's selling. And the response was just like, you could tell it just went in one ear, out the other and he just didn't care. Just like, okay, yeah, well, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, well, I'll let somebody know or we'll look into it or whatever. But I knew they weren't gonna do diddly squat, which is what they've done. Diddly squat, nothing. It is now more than a month later since that happened. And guess what? This seller is still on Amazon selling those same guitar necks. And now there are several like one star reviews saying the same thing. Tracking says it was delivered in another state. I never received it. I think one guy said he got some packaging, but there was nothing in it. And there are a couple of people that said, yeah, I got the neck. One guy said he ordered the Tele neck, but he got a Strat neck instead. So they appear to be sending some people 
The guitar neck? I, I don't get it. And when I was checking it in the beginning when this whole thing went down, I, I would look at it like every day and the price would change like every single day. One day it's $8, the next day it's $18, the next day it's $45, the next day it's $16. Really bizarre. Now I know what you're saying guys, you should have known better. Yes, I should have and I, I had a feeling it was not gonna work out, but like I said, it was only $8. It was my $8 experiment. Luckily I ended up getting all my money back, but I just feel bad for the people that are still ordering this guitar neck. When I looked at it today, it said 50 ordered today. Cause when you look at the listing sometimes, it'll tell you how many of that item were ordered today. 50 in one day. How many of those people are gonna even receive the neck? And then this brings up the issue of like, well, why is this seller doing this? How is he getting away with this? And I think it's the fact that not enough people are complaining about it. Cause you gotta figure like, out of all the people that ordered the neck, that placed the order, $8, $16, $40, whatever, only a certain percentage of them, even if they don't receive it, only a certain percentage are gonna go through the trouble of trying to go on the website and figure out how to get a refund. Like I said, it was not the easiest process. Some people are just gonna be like, eh, it's not worth the trouble, you know, screw it. I lost 20 bucks, whatever, live and learn. So there's that. And well, there's also the issue of like, some people aren't even gonna leave a review either, right? If you think about the number of people that buy the item, it's only a very small percent that will also take the trouble to go on the website and leave the one star review to warn people. Here's the other thing about the reviews, guys. I wrote a review, a one-star review, warning people, this is a scam, don't buy this. Tracking said it was delivered in another state, I never got it, avoid the seller. And then guess what, the next day I get a message from Amazon saying, sorry, we can't post your review because it violated this something or other. I don't even know, it wasn't even clear like what I had violated because I didn't say anything different in my review than what several other people have said about it's a scam, don't buy it, tracking said it was delivered in another state. So anyway, they didn't post my review. So how many other people like me wrote a review and Amazon said, sorry, we're not gonna post your review. Now guys, I'm not gonna give you a link for the neck because why would I wanna send anybody to go buy this neck that you're never gonna receive and then have the hassle of trying to get your money back. But I will say that the name of the neck in the pictures and the listening, it's, it's Fanor or Fanner, F-A-N-N-O-R. If you see anything on Amazon or eBay and it's got this picture and it says Fanor, avoid that like the plague because that neck is sold by more than one seller on Amazon. And you know they're the same people because they're all using, first of all, the same name, but the pictures are exactly the same. They're all the same pictures. So multiple sellers on Amazon selling these fan or necks at different prices, some cheap, some expensive. They might be on eBay as well, but yeah, I would just completely don't order that, don't buy that because you're probably not gonna get it. All right guys, so anybody out there have any Amazon horror stories like this where you just couldn't get your money back or you had to fight to get your money back? All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.